So in your uh, lab manual, in the example program that we have in C, there's a part where we turn some LEDs on and off using the same command. And we use this weird syntax that's like, there's a register P1 out that controls the LEDs, among other things. And we just do, I think it's this, right? And this, this, the comment just says, this toggles the bits. And so why the hell does that toggle some bits? It's pretty, pretty mysterious. Um, so I'll break it down in a few steps. So first of all, there's this command here. There are three useful um, operators in C. These are the bitwise logical operators. So they're bitwise in the sense that if you have A hat B, and A is some bits, and B is some other bits, it does them bit by bit. So you could actually write them one on top of the other, and the result down here is as if you were doing them for the single bits using that operator. So that's what that's what bitwise. Logical just means that it's like and or exclusive or and stuff like that. And operated operator just means it's like a special symbol in C. Um, now in our case, in the example I gave, it was, you were actually seeing the the hat <coughs> equals. So I'll briefly explain that one. That part's easy. If you have two numbers, let's let's pretend these are numbers and you have a plus b, in c, that's pretty clear what this means, right? You can make c equal to the result of a plus b. But often, you just want to have a be increased by some amount, like 10 or something, right? So instead of having to, instead of having to say a is equal to a plus b, which is perfectly valid, you know, you take a, you add b, you put the result back into a, there's a special for shorthand that's just plus equals B. And these are exactly the same. In terms of the syntax, this is just a, a convenient shortcut for writing this. And you will, it sounds annoying to have to learn about shortcuts right away, but you will use this more than you'll use this, I promise you. <laughs> um, so whenever you have any kind of operator like plus with an equal sign, it just means do the thing as if the equals wasn't there and then put it in the thing on the left. And so in the case of the uh, hat equals operator, this is just the same as a equals a hat b. Okay? Um, so with that out of the way, if you have the hat, this is exclusive or, which we know and love. The truth table for exclusive or is here in case you forgot. It's zero if they're the same, and they're ones if they're different. This is the logical and, so both of the bits have to be true for it to be true, otherwise it's false. And this is the non, this is the inclusive or, where one or more of the bits has to be true for it, the result to be true. So if we have this number and this number, and we exclusive or them bitwise, we can just do it one at a time using the truth table or just, you know. So these are both true, so the result is false. These are both true, and this one is still false, right? Now you can think about it logically as a bitwise thing, but an, a, the more convenient, like intuitive understanding is you take the you you, take, you look at the first number, and then in the second number, wherever there's zeros, this and this, you just copy the number from the first one. Those are never changed wherever there's zeros. Where there's a one, in the case of exclusive or, you just flip it. Wherever there's a zero, that turns into a one. Wherever there's a one, that turns into a zero. Okay. So that's with just the regular hat, but if this was a hat equals, then you can see how this, then this number gets stored wherever this came from. <laughs> this is getting complicated with all the arrows, but I'll, I'll, I'll write it more succinctly here. If A starts off as 0, 1, uh, I'll actually flip the order of these because it's a little bit easier to think about. If A starts as this, and then you do A hat equals 0, 0, 1, 1, 
this is the same as writing a equals uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, or 0, 0, 1, 1, which is to say, I just put the order of these ones, 0, 1, 1, 0. Wherever there's zeros in the thing that you hat equals with, the zeros mean don't touch the don't touch the original original thing. Wherever there's ones, it means flip it. So to get from these from this to this, or sorry, to get from the original A to this, wherever there's zeros, you leave them the same. Wherever there's ones, you just flip those and get that. And so that's why when you do P1 out, hat equals 0x49. Was it 49 or was it 41? I think it was 41. Because 0x41 in hex, in, that's in hexadecimal, right? In binary, that's actually 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This happens to correspond to P1.0. P1.6, uh, which are your two LEDs, right? So when you exclusive or equals with that magic number, everywhere where there's zeros in P1 out is unchanged, but wherever there's a one, which are the ones that are connected to LEDs, those are, those are flipped to zero, so they're toggled off. But if they were off, if they were already ones, then they're toggled to one, then they're, then they're toggled to, off, to zeros. So that's, that's why this hat equals with a, a, you know, a typed in number is the flip the bits operator. The other ones, and and or, have similar uses. I won't go through the exact details here. You can work it out on your own as an exercise, but you can see how with the and, most of them turn off the bits. And with the non, with the inclusive or, most of them turn on the bits. So you can use these operators as, you know, as operator equals in a way that allows you to set. So this one toggles certain bits, and then you can use these to make certain bits always go to one or always go to zero without touching any of the other bits in the number. You kind of have to play these games because in, in C, you don't get, well, in general, you don't get to talk to individual bits, right? You, you can only talk to bytes at a time. And so by using these schemes where you XOR and do stuff with certain magic numbers, uh, it allows you to, you know, twiddle single bits here. Um, by the way, if you're looking this up on, you know, if you're Googling for this stuff, this, this number can often be called a mask. So if you see the word mask, don't get scared off. This just means the thing that decides which bits are having the operation happen on them. Think of it not as much as like a disguise mask, but more like a masking tape mask. These, these ones have masking tape over them. These ones don't. And then you throw a bucket of XOR solvent on it, and it XORs the stuff that wasn't masked off. That's the gist of it. Hopefully that made sense. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.